So this is the new Mont Blanc book, a red brick full of information about Mont Blanc. Let's slip it out. Black, gold metal printed, lovely quality, backside. Mont Blanc writing instrument from 1908 to 1947 by Stefan Wallraffen and Jens Rösler, edition 2014. I found this book on the Cologne Pen Show in the April 2014 this year. I was told 200 pages. Let's have a look. 200 pages. Yes. And full of information. Depression. We will have a quick short view to the major pages. This is the content. That's interesting to see this. You have a description about safeties and see the different shapes of the products. I have here an old pencil. Maybe I will found it. It's a propelling pencil, propelling pencil. Where is this shape? See, here is the shape. And they tell me it's page 168. Let's have a short view to 168. Here's 168. Where is my pencil? Uh, oh, look here. Here's my pencil. And it's in the same measure. One to one. Brilliant. It's Q of 50.5. And the price is, that's interesting, you will get a value of this pen. I'm really happy to see this. Oh, it's 110 euros, probably 160 dollars. Good to have that. Let's go back to this brilliant book. Content. It's in total bilingual, it's German and English. Okay, a brief history of the German writing instrument industry. Long history. A timetable about producers in Germany. Chronology of Mont Blanc, most of you will know this. Something about collecting antique and vintage Mont Blanc pants. Interesting information. I will not go in too much into details. Oh, yes, that's interesting to see how they, they made the valuation. And standard value effects in single case, probably without nip, you will have less value of 25%. Very good to see that. Technical function description. This will be my favorite page. All the old nips. This production period. With that information I can see exactly if the right nib is on the right pan. The clips, the levers at that time, short story rouge noir, good to see that. A simple pan, I've never seen a simple pan. That's good. Old advertising. Lovely advertising. Some things of this are really new for me. The Mont Blanc history and ah, let's see historical heritage with a white cap and the simpler rifle. I heard about that, I've never seen something like that. The shape of a rifle produced the first world war by Mont Blanc. I drop at that time, and all products are with description of product period, length, diameter. Value, some details about that, very good work. Lever fillers, vacuum fillers, compressor, what a massive stuff. Safety, where are the big ones? Here are the big ones, and the small ones. David and Goliath. Safety part three, safety eight sided, interesting. Advertising, mobile advertising, precious metal overlays, part one. See all the babies here. Animal, Toledo, spider web, with roses, animal, gold overlays, another gold overlays. I've never seen such a lot of 
the beautiful Mont Blanc pants at that time. Toledo's. Wow. Now silver. Spider web. It's all in. Sunbeam. I saw it from Astoria too, but never see that from Mont Blanc. And a Tula silver product. Let's go forward. Station East brand, sub brands, Tatra, Quail, Kimmel Steel. I roughly get a bit more quicker through that book. Diplomart. Technical description and the masterpiece. Now near 90 years old. That's a real brilliant, really brilliant product review. I hope. I see. Yes, here they are. See color ones. All those color a rose spot. Lapis. Azurite, Malachite, Coral, Red Ripple, all masterpieces from that time. i never seen them in that combination, never before. Wow! Streamline! A Lapis Streamline. A Burgundy Streamline. Rose Pattern Picks and Fountain Pen combination. That's really amazing. Cylindric masterpieces are also 30s. Ah, it's a post war production. This is without rings. This is nearly short after the Second World War. This is the modern 1948. I found one. 139 with a long ink window. Danish products? Yes. That's a good book from the, uh, the Danish collectors, Paul Lund. The market gives more information about the Dennis production. Second range, what a mess of products. Second range, third range, didn't stop. Stilos, lovely Stilos. Eight wells, traveling wells, pen pencil combination, architect pens, and this is nice. The boxes in the history view, the development and the design changing. Astoria, the first time you can see something about Astoria. What a nice page. All Astorias, yes. Reflects, Stefan's stationery brand, pencils from Mont Blanc, turning pencils. Where the big ones, color ones, they are really rare, those color ones in the color red, extremely rare. And a green ripple, never seen that before. This is a huge one, I've seen that one before I collected a long time ago. Metal, precision metal turning pencils, one, two, three, four, five pages, Danish turning pencils. And the lovely colourful pencils out of the 30s and 20s. Germany produced. Really nice. Streamline, they are so rare to find. Here's again my 50.4. Multicolour pencils. They're probably not produced by Mont Blanc. Yeah, it's written there. And some of those are produced by Fendt. The Oppan Pix repeater pencils. I love those products. They're all in. Rose square, platinum, short, long version, red coral. The Danish ones, the short ones in luxury edition. Malachite, Azurite, they are so rare to find. And precious metal. Slim ones, the short slim ones. Torpedoes, what a variation of products. It's really amazing. I have a couple of, probably 10 of those. Here are 50. 40 to 50, wow. But I've been told they bring about six major worldwide collections together to find the stuff 
Finalizing here, at the end, you have a number scout. If you have a number, you probably can find which page you will find the number. Oh, that's really brilliant work. What a wonderful book. But it is also an amazing price. I was told it would cost 149 euros in Germany, probably so 200 dollars in the US. But seeing this book, it's money worth for a collector. I think you never will find something similar to this. And if you want to go forward with your collection, it is a must to find to have this book in this quality style. There's such a lot of brilliant pictures and a mess of very important information. Thanks to Stefan and Jens. Brilliant book. Thank you.